Elite Facts presents 10 Intriguing UFO Incidents 10. Battle of Los Angeles, 1942 The United States was plunged into World War II in 1942. In February, only two short months after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, anti-aircraft guns began firing over the city of Los Angeles. When strange lights appeared in the sky and had been witnessed by thousands, everyone's first assumption was that the Japanese were staging another attack. Strangely, the anti-aircraft fire brought nothing down, even though their radar had shown an unidentifiable aerial target over the city, and witnesses said that they had seen a large object hovering in the air that night. Later, a journalist's photo of the battle scene, showing what looked like a large black triangular craft, sparked major controversy among UFO skeptics and only deepened the mystery. 9. Japan Airlines Flight 1628, 1986 Japan Airlines Flight 1628 was a UFO incident that occurred on November 17, 1986, involving a Japanese Boeing 747 cargo aircraft. The aircraft was en route from Paris to Tokyo with a cargo of wine. At around 5.11 p.m. as it transited the skies over Alaska, the crew first witnessed two unidentified objects to their left. These objects abruptly rose from below and closed in to surround their aircraft. Each object seemed to display two rectangular thrusters that appeared to be glowing, though their bodies remained concealed by darkness. When closest, the aircraft's cabin was seemingly lit up, and the captain could feel the thrusters' heat in his face. The two crafts departed, then came a third, much larger disc-shaped object which started to trail them, causing the pilots to request a new route. Air traffic control obliged and requested an oncoming flight to confirm the unidentified traffic, but when it and the military craft sighted Japan Airlines at around 5.51 p.m., no other craft could be confirmed. The sighting of 50 minutes ended in the vicinity of Denali. 8. The Hudson Valley Boomerang Sightings, 1982-1995 UFO sightings have occurred across the globe for hundreds of years, but for Hudson Valley, New York, sightings suddenly hit their peak. For 13 years, between 1982 and 1995, more than 7,000 cases, that's right, 7,000, were investigated and documented by a team of investigators led by Philip J. Imbrogno. The heaviest period of sightings occurred between the end of 1982 and 1986, when more than 5,000 people reported seeing the object. You may have heard it called the Westchester Boomerang due to some of the earliest reports coming from Westchester County in New York State. The object was supposedly huge and often flew close to the ground. Some witnesses went on record describing it as a flying city and as big as three football fields. We can only speculate on what this was and what size it must have been, but what we do know is it's definitely no secret weapon, hologram, formation of planes or helicopters, nor anything else man-made. So far, there's no conventional explanation for the Hudson Valley Boomerang. 7. Barney and Betty Hill, 1961 Barney and Betty Hill were an American couple returning from a trip to Canada, and while traveling through a rural portion of New Hampshire, they spotted a strange light in the sky. Betty assumed that she was witnessing a shooting star, only it moved upward. Not far off from the town of Woodstock, they decided to pull over and stop their car to get a better look at it. What happened next was a tale of alien abduction. Upon pulling over, Barney, using binoculars, observed what he reasoned was a commercial airliner traveling towards its destination. However, Barney soon changed his mind, because without looking as if it had turned, the object rapidly descended in his direction. Using his binoculars, Barney claimed to have seen about 8 to 11 figures who were peering out of the object's windows. Startled by this, he tore the binoculars away from his eyes and ran back to the car. In a near hysterical state, he told his wife, quote, they're going to capture us. Immediately, the Hills heard various buzzing sounds that seemed to ricochet off of their car, sending a tingling sensation through their bodies. The Hills swore that during that time, they both entered an altered state of mind. After more buzzing, they noticed that they had traveled 35 miles, but had no recollection of the journey. 
the couple later underwent hypnosis, in which they both related a similar tale of being taken aboard a UFO and examined by gray aliens, just like ones that have been reported by other alleged abductees. 6. The London Olympic Games 2012 Anyone that watched or participated in the London Olympic Games in 2012 will probably remember this one. As fireworks lit up the sky above the 2012 Olympics opening ceremony, which was watched by around a billion people, something else was seen among the darkness in the night sky, a UFO. It seemed to tick all the UFO boxes, a metallic saucer-shaped object with a bulge in the middle. But no one has yet stepped forward to explain the slow-moving object. Previously, Nick Pope, one of the UK's top UFO experts, predicted only weeks prior that mass summer events would be a prime target for UFOs to present themselves to mankind. However, skeptics say that it was most likely a blimp or a helicopter. But overseers of the Olympics, plus the event planners, claimed that no aircraft was cleared to be around the vicinity during this time. Of course, with the Olympics being one of the biggest well-known events for us humans, who's to say that visitors from elsewhere didn't want to check out the celebration as well? 5. Washington, D.C. UFO Incident 1952 It was July 12, 1952, when the residents of Washington, D.C. witnessed several UFOs flying overhead. What started as a series of reports about unidentified flying objects soon became one of the most publicized sightings to ever take place. Air traffic controller Ed Nugent was sitting in front of his radar screen at Washington National Airport when he suddenly saw seven unusual blips appear on screen. No known aircraft were in the area, and there was no explanation for the presence of these unidentified blips. After Nugent contacted several other stations to check their radars, they advised that they too had unidentified blips on their radars. One witness described the objects as, quote, a bright light hovering in the sky, which took off, zooming away at incredible speed. After speculation soared and the incident made headlines, it was only a matter of time before the U.S. Air Force claimed it was nothing more than temperature inversions, which had caused radar signals to bend and give off false returns. But for UFO enthusiasts, 1952 remains an important year in history. 4. International Space Station 2012 to Present Day as 2012 ended and 2013 began, numerous UFO sightings occurred around the world. Nothing new, right? But what about the unidentified objects seen in space near the International Space Station, a couple of hundred miles above the Earth? UFO enthusiasts have taken to uploading various videos showing images taken by NASA cameras of different shaped objects, some moving at speed and others very slow. During the Gemini 4 mission, pilot Jim McDivitt spotted an object that he described as a, quote, white cylinder with a pole sticking out of one corner. He proceeded to take two photos of it. His partner, Ed White, was unfortunately asleep at the time. McDivitt claims that it was an unknown but man-made piece of debris, while others argue that it was most likely the Titan 11 second stage of their craft. Sightings still occur to this day, some as recent as January 2017, when an object was spotted flying by the International Space Station moments before its live stream went dead. The UFO was seen going from small to large before vanishing after 25 seconds. This is just the latest in a series of NASA video footage showing UFOs before cutting out. 3. Randlesham Forest Incident 1980 Several incidents have happened in and around the UK, but one of the most famous UFO events involved the sighting of several unexplained lights near an RAF base. In late December of 1980, there were a series of sightings of unexplained lights near Randlesham Forest in Suffolk, England. The most notable was witnessed by two on-duty servicemen. Jim Penniston, a sergeant based at the airbase, claims he saw and came into contact with a triangular spaceship that had landed in the nearby forest. As Jim Penniston touched the UFO, he was hit with a ton of binary code that became engraved in his mind. He wrote all of this down and later had the binary translated, and what occurred was very unexpected. 
the code was translated and included a list of spiritual and supernatural locations around the world, one of these being a location named High Brazil, which is a phantom island said to lie in the Atlantic Ocean west of Ireland. Irish myths describe it as cloaked in mist, except for one day every seven years when it becomes visible but still cannot be reached. 2. Roswell, 1947 In mid-1947, a UFO crashed at a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico. At first, the U.S. Army and Air Force confirmed that a UFO had indeed crashed, and news quickly spread. Following wide initial interest in the crashed flying disc, the U.S. military then stated that it was merely debris from an experimental high-altitude surveillance balloon from a classified program they called Mogul. With these claims being made, interest began to drop until the late 1970s, when UFO enthusiasts began to promote numerous elaborate conspiracy theories, some claiming that several alien spacecrafts had crash-landed and that the extraterrestrial occupants had been taken by the military who then engaged in a cover-up. Roswell is considered to be the single most well-known UFO incident in history, but are we any closer to what really happened? Nevertheless, there are still people who believe in this UFO theory, and hundreds of thousands of curious travelers visit Roswell and the crash site every year, hoping to find out the truth for themselves. 1. The Phoenix Lights, 1997 If you lived in Phoenix, Arizona on March 13, 1997, you were no doubt looking up to the skies and wondering what in the world was going on. In fact, strange lights were spotted over five different cities in the state of Arizona. First, there was a row of six lights seen over Phoenix, which was the first city to report the lights. It was then followed by another row of eight lights, and finally followed by nine connected lights. Witnesses claimed to have viewed a huge, V-shaped, slow-moving, dark UFO. It was said that stars would disappear behind the UFO and reappear as it passed by, and that the object produced no sound. It recently emerged at the International UFO Congress event that some people even experienced memory loss after seeing the lights. Frances Barwood, the 1997 Phoenix City Councilwoman, launched an investigation into the event and was shocked to find over 700 witnesses she interviewed, quote, the government never interviewed even one. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.